I am just an animal. I am not a human being. <sighs> Good day, everybody. This is Darren the Devil back with Devilish Sense. After a six-month break of hibernation, I've actually came back for you guys, and there's something exciting that I wanted to show everybody. I'm not really going to get into uh, why I was gone. That's for you to figure out for yourself. But now that I'm back, I have an unboxing to do for you guys. This is a limited release by Jimmy Bowden, the perfumer and owner of Doucette, who just released a limited edition Horse Siri. And this is... Uh, a limit, like I said, a limited edition project of weird and animalic scents. Uh, it came in 30 ml for $275. Uh, now, this was not available in the U.S. on their website, so you do have to go through Sealed Essences. I did talk to the owner of Sealed Essences, Nos. It's a it's a small family owned brand, and they find ways to get these limited editions from you know houses overseas that we you know these very niche houses that we normally over here in the US we wouldn't be able to try so I uh, am very excited to uh, try this new limited edition release by Doucette Horsery and everyone knows how I like my animalics so, let's get into it, guys. I did want to apologize for taking so long of a break off. And holy cow, he just uh, put a little bit of a sample in there. Let's see, what is it? Le, Deer, Le Deneur Sultan. Oh, this is uh, the Doucette exclusive brand, uh, that Gourmand that they just released. This actually looked promising. I'll try that some other time. I won't do this on this video. Uh, for this video, oh, I'm going to check on that real fast. <laughs> ah, it was fine, everybody. So, okay, as you can tell, I already opened this up. Okay. Like I said, 30 ml for 275 um, now, Doucette, I remember reading that they used their own maturations in this, and they had very limited supplies, so I was surprised that, uh, Sealed Essences even held, uh, you know, made it pur purchasable off their website. Okay, I'm just gonna, whoa, there's samples in there of the, uh, oh, oh, what is this? Oh, he provided the other two. Sweet. Uh, so the other two, the he, uh, the Juset released three for the Animalic uh, collection or Horsery, <laughs> and uh, it's for a Cheval, which whoa, which is horseshoe in French. So that's their horse. Fragrance. All three of them are released off of, uh, or based off of different animals. And then there's Po Dior's, which means bear skin. So I'll try those two samples on uh, this this episode as well. Now, oh my gosh, he also, oh my gosh, he included an Agar Aura. Oh, I just tried Agar Aura for the first time, and I won't be saying which one I tried because I will be doing a review for you guys soon because I'm beginning into Animalics, and I just really want to show you guys more Animalics for this winter season. So maybe I might do a first impressions on that one as well. So I'll put that off to the side. Let's get into it, guys. First, I'm going to try the one that I purchased. Uh... This one's called Griff de Croc uh, Griff de Crocodile, which means uh, crocodile claw. Took me a second to remember that. Out of all three of the releases, this looked the most promising for me. Uh, so this is the one that I, I wanted to try. 
so glad that NOS was nice enough to include all those samples so I could try those other uh, releases by Jusette, the for the Horsery. All three of them sounded real promising, honestly. So, let's check out this presentation. Put on my glasses. You know what? I'll get behind the camera. Let's go old school, guys. It's been a long time. <sighs> okay. It's in a nice wooden box. Look at that, guys. Gorgeous. Horsery Griff to Crocodile. Okay. Oh, man. Maybe I'll... I haven't done an unboxing in a while, so, oh, not quite used to it. Ooh. Okay. Put that off to the side. Oh. Look at that. The cap on there is gorgeous. Kind of reminds me of like a disco thing on top. Oh man, gorgeous. And then horsery. Griff to crocodile. Okay, that's about it. I'm going to get behind the camera on the other side and let's smell it. Okay guys. Alright, I haven't smelled this at all yet. I really like that gold um, cap. It's gorgeous. Okay, but really, let's uh, let's get into this. I didn't want to take too long on this, so okay. Oh, I can already smell it. It does smell animalic. Oh, very. I can smell oak moss for sure. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. This is going to be my scent of the day, guys. I knew it was coming. Really excited. Okay. Hope you guys can see this. Oh. 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 <laughs> nice mist. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice this reminds me of this reminds me of something one of the early releases by um uh, prin Hoxon. the heavy oak moss the leather there's leather Okay, I'm gonna do another spray. Oh gosh. It's green in the opening. Uh, whoa, like Costas. The oak moss is really taking over in this. Okay. It was a gorgeous day outside, but I really just wanted to try this on an inside environment in the devil's lair. And being back, I thought it was very befitting to come back to the lair. <laughs> this does stay, cl stay closer to the skin. You can tell this is going to be like a date night fragrance. It starts off green, um, like a fruity type deal going on, um, mixing in with the oak moss, because the oak moss, there's an overdose in here. Right, go ahead. It's almost nutty, like green, nutty, like, like fruity and nutty, like a... Is this pistachio or something? 
it has like a green nuttiness that I'm associating with pistachio. There's definitely vetiver in here. This green, uh, like it's it's a dense, moist green. Mixing in with that oak moss, which is very brooding. It's dark. It's a dark, dense oak moss. A cypriol with that greenness in the vetiver, which is also the grassy greenness. But the... I can't really tell what that animalicness is. And it's not all coming from the oak moss. And there it, there was a leather accord, but it's kind of just like mixing in with all those other notes right now. My nose is becoming anosmic to this, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a break, and I'll be right back for you guys. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm back with an update. It's been about five minutes. Um, there's s something other than the oak moss, and I think there's like a soil tincture in here. Excuse me. Holy cow. There's something other than just the green. There's a, like a rooty soil beyond just the vetiver as well. And there's a slight spice in this. And I can't tell if it's just coming from the costus or like, because there's a green costus type of cord that's kind of spicy. But it might, there might be like some pine or something in here. Now, the soiliness might be from patchouli as well. But I can definitely tell there's a leather. But the more that I smell this, literally the more that I become anosmic. So I'm going to let my nose chill for a little bit. And then I'm going to try those other two samples. And then I'll come back to this. <sighs> Holy cow. Okay, guys. I couldn't wait any longer. Let's go ahead and get into the other two. Put in my glasses so I know exactly what I'm trying here. It's weird. Out of all three of these, like, as you can see, this looks really light. I hope you can see that in camera. It looks like, I don't know, a watered-down lemonade. As well as the other one, which looks a little bit more like lemonade or just really healthy piss. And then, as you can tell... Compared to those ones, the crocodile is literally the, the darkest. It looks like a dark green. These, okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I guess I want to try the, the, let's try Fura Chevelle first, the horseshoe. I feel like that's going to be the most dark and brooding, and then I can sweeten it up at the end, because I feel like bear skin, there, there has to be like honey in there, right? Because bears like honey. <laughs> okay. Let's just, ooh, it's a little chilly down here in the devil's lair. <laughs> I was hoping it would be kind of warm down here so that my skin would be nice and warm to try these, but I'm just going to have to strain my nose for you guys. Let's try it. Oh, oh, oh that was a good spray. It's wet. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh my gosh. It definitely seems like the crocodile is more brooding than this. There's definitely an anise licorice type thing going on in here. <sighs> Which isn't my favorite note, and it's mixing in with like a leathery type thing. But as like the leather goes, like this was like an old leather. This is like a new leather. I would say even like a suede. It is musky. This is really close to the skin. It seems like all three of these are. I thought these would be... Like, pow.
I'm definitely getting like a civet in this one. It's almost kind of pissy with the leather. Not too pissy. It's very musky as well with that anise. Um, the anise, if you don't know, smells like black licorice. So I'm going to go to the, the bear skin one. There's some, it seems like this is almost fruity as well. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's this, it's, it's almost like the civet is bringing a pissiness that mixing with the, the anise that's almost bringing like a, a weird fruity quality to this, but it is animalic and musky. This one doesn't speak to me as much as this other one. Yeah, ooh, this is very dense with oak moss, a very uh, wet oak moss. I'm going to go ahead and go to the bare skin. <laughs> that sounds so weird to say. Okay, put this one off to the side. There's almost a smokiness, like an oud. There's oud in here. There's like no florals in any of these. No, no, it's, you know, no forgiveness. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and try bear skin if I can even smell it by this point. Holy cow, my nose might be screwed. <laughs> I'm hanging out with a friend later and I feel kind of bad for her. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh-oh. I don't know if this sprayer works, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it does. Holy cow. That scared me. Whoa! All three of these I have a hard time smelling. Whoa! Now this one's darker. Tobacco. Tobacco and oud. I'm definitely smelling oud. Leo like a chocolatey oud. Laotian. Like the same type of oud that Bortnikov uses a lot of the times. Ooh, I like this one. I'm not getting honey. I thought there would be honey and it would be sweet, but this is almost darker than the, the horse fragrance, the horseshoe. I feel like they me they mess these up. I feel like th this should be the horseshoe and this should and the other one should be the bear fragrance, but I'm not sure. It's so wet. Holy cow. Jeez. It's very smoky uh, oud with the tobacco, and it's almost kind of chocolatey from that, that oud. Maybe I am getting honey in this. There is a sweetness coming through on the very bottom. It's hard to tell what I'm smelling right now because all of the amalgamation of notes are coming together in this one to create like one central accord kind of. This one was very well composed, the bear skin. I feel like this one speaks to me very well, uh, more than the horseshoe, and I think that the crocodile, I'm glad that I bought. It's my favorite. I'm going to go back to that real quick, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> it seems like all three of them are leather. There's leather in all three of these, but different types. This one is like a, a dark leather that's been used, and uh, it's very green, like a, a wet, wet oak moss patchouli in there, uh, a soily as well. But when I first sprayed it on, it was very green and kind of nutty. It was, it, it, I liked it. It was in, it's kind of cold down here in the devil's lair, but I feel like if you did like heat up, this would be really good for date nights, like, uh, and like clubbing. This would be a great club fragrance for me because I like to stick out. Now, I'm going to go back to the other two real quick here, but my nose is pretty shot at this point. I've been smelling so much. <laughs> Animalix, but I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> All right. Go to the bear skin. That one's very leathery as well with a, a, the oud in there that I think Slay Ocean can, is kind of chocolatey. I, I think there's a sweetness, a backdrop. I don't know if it is honey. Maybe like a raw manuka honey because it's very earthy as well. And very musky, but yeah, it's kind of sweet with that oud and I like it. This is sexy. This this wouldn't be for clubbing. This would just be for like date nights and Valentine's Day. It's kind of sexy and sensual. It speaks to me. I like that kind of stuff. Now, oh, I'm going to have to pick up another oh, a bottle of that as well. 275 for 30 ml. If you want to make a jump, you got to do it too. It's limited. <laughs> Out of all three, the horse is definitely the least projecting. I can't really smell it compared to the other two that are taking over my nostrils. Honestly, I will come back and tell you guys, um, and I'll do just a wear of the horseshoe by itself. And if my skin does warm up and I, you know, it does change and I get more nuances out of these, I will write it down and I will update you guys later. But for now, I just wanted to do a quick update. Thanks, you guys, for your patience. I'm back from the depths of hell to be presenting you guys the Horsery by Set, And I got something special in store for next week as well. If you want to pick up any of these limited releases, I urge you to check it out from Sealed Essences. I do want to do a shout out to Nos real fast. He's such a lovely guy. He's very nice, uh, very accommodating to give me all those samples uh, as well. And because he doesn't get a lot of samples, uh, they're a small brand and uh, they're just trying to help people get limited releases that normally we wouldn't be able to buy. So I'm so thankful to him and his wife. It's just them operating the business and they get me my orders fast and they're doing a really good job keeping up because I know that they got quite a good fan base going by this point because a lot of their scents, when they're limited, they do get sold out quick. So if you do want to check out Griff to Crocodile, Poe Dia Ors, uh, or Fur, Fur -e Chevelle, Please do off of sealedessences.com. This is Darren the Devil back with Devilish Sense. Oh, I almost forgot. This video is dedicated to all the sinners, rebels, and nocturnists. I hope to see you guys in the next review. <laughs> <laughs>